What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Angler 24-7. I'm here with your favorite fisherman other than me, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fishing with Adam and we tomorrow morning are going to the Uintas in eastern Utah. We're going to Murdoch Basin. Bleh, I cannot English today. We are going to Murdoch Basin to fish about seven to eight lakes for trout. Adam has got his backpack right there. It's messed up. I haven't, I haven't been backpacking like this before. And so. <laughs> any of your mountain houses. Oh, frick. <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> I told you. Oh, that it looks way better than mine, dude. <laughs> this this will be fun, too. It tells you your distance between this fork to these lakes all the way up to Marshall, which is the closest lake. Okay. Oh, this pack? literally... Here, op open like the two bags. Oh, ooh, that's smart. That's all. All my fishing stuff is in here and in here. That's smart. Literally everything. A fanny pack is really smart. Holy. I am on a camp chair. Well, not camp. What am I on? Lawn chairs. A lawn chair. I'm on one lawn chair. He's on another lawn chair. I'm in my sleeping bag liner. He has a blanket. We're sleeping out here tonight to prep us for. Our eventual excursion out camping in the Uintas. Any thoughts? Anything about all this? Moon joke. Oh gosh, just stop. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna hit the hay in a bit, and the next time we see you guys, it'll probably look about the same as it does right now. Adam, can you give me a countdown real quick? Three, two, one. Blech. Wait, where are we? In my car. Crap. Uh, yeah. So. I went inside after two minutes and he came in at like four in the morning because he said it got cold. It's freezing. It's 60 degrees outside. Yeah, we will see you guys periodically and we are going again to the Uintas Murdoch Basin for an epic fishing adventure. Woo! Guys, we've made it to the Uintas. We're up here. I'd say it's about 40 degrees right now, a little bit chilly. But as we start hiking, it'll start feeling a bit better. This is our pull off right here. It's not where we're camping, because we're hiking that way. We got about, I think it's about a two and a half mile hike to the first lake, roughly. So we're gonna grab all our stuff and get up there. It's gonna be sick, can't wait. All right, guys, we got our packs on. Got mine here, Adam with his. We just locked the car. We're about to head out on this adventure. How ready are you? I'm, I'm excited. This Same. Is first. This is going to be fun. It's the first for both of us. It should be fun. We've got about two miles ahead of us. We'll see you guys. I'll periodically do some little filming here and there. But we'll see you guys up there. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. All right, let's go. Woo! I'm so key dying. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I don't know what this guy's about. I mean, whoops, complaining about the three way split off should be, I'd estimate, probably another like 200 or 300 yards. Behold, guys, the sign Pyramid Lake. This way, Echo Lake that way, we're going to Pyramid. That's this way. We got right here, we got some dandelion. And of course, be like, why is this cool? Well, for you guys who are doing like survival stuff and out camping, you can actually eat this. The stem, not edible. 
the flower and the leaves and the roots are edible. We'll take this flower here. This right here is edible. Doesn't taste the best, but it's okay. These leaves right here though, that's what you'll get in like your salads, your mixed greens. You want some dandelion leaves? No. I'm good. Well, I'm gonna indulge in this. Tastes like a salad. <laughs> and we're almost there. Let me see the back real quick. Is that back soaked? Oh gosh, <laughs> the color change. Ew. <laughs> Ew. And we're just cooling off for a bit. I believe we're the lake's over that way. We're close. Okay guys, the excitement is real. I saw a glimpse of water for a second. We we're almost to the lake. It's right through these trees. I want to get this on video, a first person reaction and view. Look guys, we've made it. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at this guys. Fish rows out in the middle out there. Oh, we made it, let's find a place to camp. We've made camp right here. The lake's right there. This is my hammock. Adams is right here. We got our fishing stuff out. We're gonna be, we're gonna set it up and then go fish the lake. I'll switch to the GoPro and get fishing. Hopefully we catch some good fish. We're gonna eat fish tonight. It'll be fun. See you guys out on the water and hopefully we catch some nice brook trout. Up, Adam, let's take a picture in front of the sign. We're gonna take a photo in front of the Pyramid Lake sign. I'm gonna start with the spinning reel. I don't wanna cast with my fly rod around trees. I'm not experienced enough to do it. I saw a little brookie hiding underneath this log here, so I wanna cast along the log real quick and see if he uh, comes out for it. Oh, he came out to look at it for a second, but then turned around. Look at that. Adam's got his first brook trout ever. Isn't that your first? You want to keep them? Tempting. Might as well. You can keep eight. Okay, okay, grab your stringer. And I'm like, oh, wait, I have one and I wasn't <laughs> recording. I'm snagged right now, so I got to take care of that. Dang. Oh, I had one. I wasn't looking, the fly was like gone, gone. There's one. Got one. Got one, guys. It's a decent size one, it seems like. Yeah, he's pretty decent. That's a keeper right there. Come here, buddy. Oh, I should have grabbed my net. Right there. there he is. Look at that. First fish of the day, guys. For me. Oh, come down. There he is. First brook trout. For about 10 inches. He's gone. Dang it. Got it out of the rocks. That was just a really bad situation. I should have grabbed him firmer. That's alright. We got him. Yep. Do you have your stringer? They're everywhere over here. I got like three bites and then finally got this guy. There's no one else here. <laughs> so it took me like a full like 30 seconds for, my, for me to just like realize that that was you. I'm like, oh, you must have been calling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fish from right here, man. The one that I caught, I saw him surface out there, casted right out to where, kind of where he was, and then not two seconds later, the strike indicator just goes. Got one. This guy's kind of small, I guess. I think. I don't know. Haven't really been able to see him. Oh, he's pretty small. Yeah. Hi, buddy. How are you? Here you go. And she's gone. Let's try this out. I was, I was thinking, if there's any big fish in this lake, you think they'd be deep. You know? That one. Yep. 
He hammer. Oh, he came off. Got one. Yo, this one's beautiful. On the stringer? Yeah, I think I will. All right, buddy. Yeah, I know. Another one, guys. Sorry, I was letting my camera cool off and just kind of casting it. Oh yeah, bro, this one's really good. This one's pretty good. Actually, it's about the same size as the first one. He's really fat. Look at that little guy. Took a photo of you. There you go. I got another one here. Right after that one I just released. This one's got more yellow on it. Might have got you in the gill. Okay, that one shot off pretty good. That one. On the dry fly. Yep. This is actually my first fish I've caught on a dry fly in years. Yeah, we doubled up. Like that. Okay, so I'm done gutting my fish. Adam's almost done. Okay, we made it back to camp. We're about to start the fire so we can cook up our fish that we caught. We have four fish, two for each of us. Get some sticks, stick them on the stick and just hold it over the fire. We're gonna get started right now real quick and we'll see how that goes. Okay, Adam's grabbing some fish. That one's yours. I shall do it back at the fire. Get some on mine too. Okay, my fish, I guess, is done. We'll see. No, it's still raw, my friend. How long has it been on the fire? Like five minutes? Uh, more than that. Ten minutes? Yeah, something like that. Okay, it's probably definitely got to be longer then. Here we go. Whoa. No, you don't. <laughs> this way. <laughs> ah. What do you have to say about that, Ty? Blech. Okay. Attempt number two, I'm trying to eat this guy. Oh gosh, why? So that was sort of, yep, just go for it. At this point, like, actually, is it mushy? Very mushy. So maybe this whole time you thought it was... <laughs> I not cooked at all, on any part. I flash cooked it. <laughs> we'll do another attempt another time. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> no. Okay, here you go. Yep. Guys, look at that. That looks like some cooked fish right there. Mmm. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I've been waiting for right there. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'll eat this real quick and then once we're done eating stuff, we're gonna go ahead to Echo. See you guys there. We just put out our fire because we're about to go to Echo Lake right now. Yeah. I'm just ready to catch a golden trout. Oh yeah. That'd be sick. They're in that lake. We'll see if we can catch one. This way to Echo Lake. Come on. Come on, you nerd. Nerd. This way to Echo Lake. We're going to Echo. With the phone to phone conundrum. Oh god. I mean, uh, what's it called? Continuum. Yes. <laughs> We've made it guys. That was quicker than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful, my friend.
Okay, well, I didn't get anything here. I've got so many bites, but I just couldn't get any to stick. I am caught like two over here in like a five minute span and then just nothing. <laughs> this lake seems to be very low on fish. It seems to get a lot more people and pressure than other places because we see more people at this lake than any of the other, than Pyramid. So we're gonna head back to Pyramid, go catch some more fish so we can feel better about ourselves. <laughs> uh, we're back at camp. We're making our mountain house dinners for today, kind of as a celebration. Adam's got his over there. It's teriyaki chicken. And then mine is beef stew. Waiting for this thing to start boiling. Yeah, that's basically Shake it up, and then we wait how long and then stir it again? Uh, five minutes, stir again, and reseal it, standing for four minutes, and then we're good to eat. I'll lose your taste buds on the first night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that's pretty good. That's not bad, actually. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Oops. Wow. Oh gosh, I look ridiculous in this thing. It's my mosquito net to protect my face from the bugs at night. Because I'm in a hammock. We'll see, I might not wear it the whole night. Um, I'm gonna probably hop in my hammock and just chill there for the rest of the night. I don't really need anything else. I don't really need to do anything else, actually. So I'm just gonna chill here and uh, in my hammock and whenever I feel like it, just go to bed. We'll see what tomorrow holds. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. And Adam is in there. <laughs> this is where I ended up sleeping last night because my hammock was so uneven I kept sliding to the bottom and my body just hated me so I just slept on the ground it wasn't that bad probably got like six hours of sleep total we fell asleep a little bit past nine Adam says he's cold I'm freezing. <laughs> and I'm out here completely fine it's because of my sunburn oh yeah his sunburns tip to you guys wear sunblock no matter where you are, because we're in the mountains, we're closer to the sun's rays, so it's more powerful. So wear some luck. Anyways, I'm gonna get a fire started so that this little baby can get out of his hammock, and so that we can go catch some fish and eat them for breakfast. Well, yeah, I know, okay? All right, I'm gonna go set up a fire. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> we finally got one, guys. Off my GoPro because I had it off because I wasn't thinking I was going to get something. And we finally got one. Breakfast is served. Okay, so we got this fish gutted and we're going to head back to camp. Been here for a while, no more fish. Adam went back to camp because he's not feeling good, which is not a good sign with the symptoms he's describing. He says he's having dizziness, trouble standing. We could head home today if he doesn't improve by around noon. If he doesn't, then we're probably going to have to go back home. That's what my thought process is right now. See you guys back at camp. I'm probably going to give Adam this fish to eat. So I gave Adam my fish over this fire. It's smoking right now. We're going to smoke this trout for him and see how it tastes. 
<laughs> Looks pretty good though. Okay. <laughs> I should have given you that to bear grills. <laughs> Actually, that's a terrible idea. Oh wait, he's doing it. <laughs> How much of that is raw? <laughs> Okay, so as you can see by this, I'm packed up. He's packing up. No, we're not going to another lake. Where are we going? Beatles. We're going home. <laughs> we're tired. Adam's not feeling good. Yeah, we did not come as prepared as we thought we should have been. Nope, we're driving a vehicle next time. Yeah, we're definitely bringing a vehicle and bringing way more food. Because that's one of the main issues. <sighs> but it's okay. So we're going to head back, and once we get to the car, we'll see you guys. <laughs> guys, I've been done for like 25 minutes or so. He's just done. You ready? Okay, we are leaving, heading back home to the car to get Beto's and go home. I'm already. We've been hiking for a while. Adam's dying. As we're backpacking downhill, we realized there's no way we would have been able to do another 2.5 miles uphill with these heavy packs on. We just weren't ready for it. Especially him. He packed way too much. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you at the car. Guys, look! The car! We made it! I've never wanted to kiss a car! You beauty! Ah! Whoa! We did it! I'm so tired! I gotta load my stuff and get in the car. This is where we sign off. We're in the car right now. <laughs> We're both so dead. My sh shoulders have never been this sore in my life. My feet have never been hurting this bad. We didn't prepare very well. Lesson learned though. It was still a fun adventure, good experience to have. Good to get outside for a bit. But yeah, we're in the car, we're gonna go home, go eat some food, and yeah, uh, overall it was a fun adventure and we caught some fish. Thank you guys so much for watching Angler 24-7 and we'll see you guys the next time the sun rises. Bing!